Hey, my name is Mirza. I'm general manager at Image Wizards. Chances are, if you've called, we've talked before. And if not, it's nice to meet you. I'm making this video because I wanted to place an order on our order page and just kind of go step by step through it with you one by one, just in case, you know, you have any questions about it, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here we go. First section, you just put in your size. Right below these two boxes, there's a PDF price list that you can download. This next section is a choose your frame. We have frame to edge, which is just a standard flush frame. The difference between the custom float and the pre-made float is, if you choose pre-made float, we have two pre-made float sizes, a 10 by 14 and a 16 by 24. And so if you order a standard ratio, such as a 24, 36, 20 by 30, 16 by 24, then we take one of these frames, we put it on the back and you're good to go. So up to 24, 36, if it's a standard ratio, you can choose this option. If it's above 2436 or you have like a really wide panoramic, then obviously, you know, a pre-made float, it wouldn't necessarily work in the back. And so that's whenever you choose custom float. So custom float, we actually build the frame custom to fit your print. And so we inset it an inch and a half around the entire perimeter. And so what that looks like is this. So around the entire perimeter, it's exactly the same. Whereas with the float, you know, it can fluctuate a little bit. Uh, but you know, they'll give you, the, if you have a standard size, the pre-made float is a little less expensive. So, you know, that's those two options. Uh, standoffs, it's just standard standoffs. We, we currently have the three quarter inch in diameter and it stands one inch off the wall. If you need something different, shoot us an email. And then we have just the metal print only in case you want to have somebody uh, locally frame it and so that's just the the aluminum sheet um, so I'm gonna choose frame to edge okay so in this section uh, we're asking you which one of our frames you want so we have a two and three quarter inch frame that's a double wall and what double wall means is if you look at for example I'm just gonna click this so you've got two channels here so this is what we would consider double wall the pre-made float is a single wall frame it's got the one channel and the main difference here, they, the, the black frames look the same, they look identical. Uh, the difference is just structural stability. It is, you know, whenever you go up to say 36, 48, the single wall frame is, is totally fine. But when you go above that, then we really recommend you go with that double wall frame just to give the print more structural stability. You know, you don't want a, a wobbly print. So, so that's uh, what it means here when it says double wall. So we've got the two and three quarter inch double wall, which is only available in silver. We have the inch and a quarter double wall frame that's available in silver, black, and pewter, which is kind of like a gunmetal gray color. The inch and a quarter single wall frame, which is on the back of the float, that one's only available with just single wall in black. And then just we have the three quarter inch single wall, which is available in silver and black. So I'm just gonna pick the single wall for me here and see it's only available in black. For the finishes, you know, there's videos that you can watch, but just to give you a quick rundown, we've got three finishes that have a white base coat. So these will work similar to printing on paper. You know, your whites are gonna be true white if you've got clouds or, you know, hello. Um, so, you know, th th that will be the most photographic. You know, you've got the ultra gloss, you've got the matte, and then you have kind of the halfway point between the two. The um, lightly brushed ultra gloss and the lightly brushed matte, the difference is it drops out all the white completely. And so what happens is, you know, if for example, if you have a photo of a cloud, that's actually gonna show through as the aluminum instead of being white. So we're gonna, let's say, choose uh, white gloss now. So hanging hardware. Wire is a standard wire, security mount, it's uh, two little brackets that you screw in the wall, you make sure they're leveled, and then they actually go into those grooves it, you know, those channels that I showed you on the back of the framing. Um, you know, and it comes with a T-screw that you can uh, install on the bottom to lock it to the wall. So if you're interested in that, you know, for commercial applications, for things like that, that's actually, a, it is something that we recommend. And there's a video here on how to install it as well. But I'm just gonna choose wire for the purposes of this. Next section, this is about proofing and HD plus processing. So I'm just gonna kind of work backwards here. So if you just trust us, if, if you just, you know, because we will, we will do our best to provide the best possible image that we can that matches your image the way it was configured and submitted. So if you choose no proof, we, uh, I trust your expertise, uh, we're still going to proof your image. We just won't send you the proofs. 
And that's what this first option is. So if you choose that you would like a proof mailed to you, the proofs that we're creating anyway, whether you ordered them or not, because that's how we make sure that your file actually matches on our color calibrated monitor. So then we mail that to you via USPS or UPS or FedEx, whatever you need. I do want to specify, as you can see here, you actually get two pieces of aluminum. You get the overall, so you can make sure all your colors, right? And then you get a section of it at the full resolution so you can review, you know, just, I mean, how good your detail level is holding at the size that you're printing. And so, you know, then you call us and you let us know or you shoot us an email, hey, I approve, or you call and, you know, tell us you want to make changes and we can, you know, usually figure that out for you and, and, and keep it moving. So HD processing, what that does is if you have a file that's, you know, if you're in the 800, 900 megabyte range already, then this probably won't do a lot for you. But if you've got like a, you know, five or 10 gig JPEG that you want to kind of push a little larger than maybe what it's wanting to go to right now, or if you've got like a five, five year old camera, 10 year old camera that, you know, the files just aren't as big as they are on your new camera. Uh, the file size, then, you know, you, we can run it through this and it'll actually make a big difference when it comes to that. Um, you know, we've got this slider here that you can see it, you know, but, but I mean, it, there's a lot of other, you know, really good examples of this kind of peppered throughout our blog and the different articles that we have. Um, one of which talks about, you know, what, what this does for you. Um, so you can just do that alone or you can do HD plus processing and proofing both at the same time. And you know, if you choose the HD plus processing and we run your file through it and it doesn't make a difference for you, we are going to refund you that $65. We're not gonna keep your money if it does nothing for you. So, so don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna choose, you know, I trust you. Okay, so this is the section where a lot of people have questions. If your file is 50 megs or less, then you can just click, I have an image to upload and you choose your image, you click here, you navigate to it, and you, you, you're done. If this is a reprint order, then you just click here, Image Wizards already has my files, and you put in your file name here. It doesn't have to be exact, just close, or you know, type in what the photo is of, and then that will help us locate it. Or if you have a really large file, so if you have 100 meg, 200 meg, you know, and, and, and higher, you may have noticed that you know, it might hang up sometimes, and that's just because your file is too great. You know, we'll never ask you to reduce your file sizes just to upload faster. So we have another solution for that that I'll show you here in just a second. So we are going to choose this option, right? Because we have a gig file and it's not gonna go through that first option. So now we're gonna add to cart. Okay, so now we're in our cart. The only thing really you need to know here is you put the, uh, you know, whenever we do a promotion or you get anything from us like that, you put the coupon code here and we're gonna proceed to checkout. So, this is the final page. You, it asks for your billing address, it asks for your shipping address. If you have any special requests, if you want us to you know, add an addition number or make sure your signature is in there or if there's a problem area or if you're concerned about the blues or you know, the, your sharpness or any note that you want Studio to see, you put it right here and, and you know, we will all see it through the whole process and make sure that whatever kind of guidance you give us here, we follow that. So, um, you know, the rest of it, you just kind of go through and you, you know, put in your payment info and you place order. So now, how do you get us your file? So the next step is we transfer. Our we transfer page, or the link for it is imagewizards.wetransfer.com. And I'm gonna put this link in the description, okay? And so you go to this page, you click on I agree, and you've got a couple of instructions over here, but I mean, so here's all you have to do. You click on add your files, and it's gonna open up, you navigate to a file, so I'm just gonna pick this one. It already has our email pre-populated. You put in your email address, in this case I'm gonna put in my work email address. So I'm just gonna put in mi at imagewizards.com. You can put whatever message you want, you know, if you want to put your order number that you just got after checking out, if you want to put that here, you know, whatever. If you want to put that, if you want to put your name, if you want to recopy that note that you left us, you know, and put that, you can put it whatever you want in the message field, but we'll link it by your email address. So whatever you put in here, if it's the same as the email that you used on the order, then you're golden. So now I'm going to click transfer. Now, 
here's where uh, some people get hung up, right? It's gonna say, verify your email address. And this is just purely a security thing. Okay, it's gonna send me an email. We transfer, there it is. So look, your code, 84532. So now I'm gonna go back over here, 84532. Oh, 320. And verify. And now it's transferring. And that's it, you're done. We have your file, you've placed your order, and so the very next step is, if you chose a proof, you wait for your proof. And if there are any issues, if there are any red flags, don't worry, we're not just gonna let it slide. We're gonna give you a call, we're gonna figure it out together, and we're gonna make sure that what you get, you love. Thank you so much for watching, and maybe we make some more videos like this if you guys like it, and um, all right, thanks, have a good day, bye.